Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? Hope you're keeping safe where you are. Uh, today we're going to be making Nigerian Pofu Pofu. <laughs> yeah. So I'm mixing, I'm going to mix the dry ingredient first. Then later add um, the uh, add water. You can you can add milk if you want. So that's the plain flour. Um, I'm mixing it in a, in a pot because I don't like how it sticks to bowls, you know. So yeah, you can mix it in any deep container you have. Just just do my in a pot so I can put the lid on it and let it rest. So uh, I had some sugar to it. Add as much sugar as you want. I'm just gonna add um that's half a cup of sugar from the look of it. I didn't measure it though, so yeah. And um I like adding a tiny bit of salt to my puff puff. And that's what I'm gonna do as well. I had the uh, instant dry yeast. If you're not using the instant uh, dry yeast, then you need to um set the yeast aside first. Add some warm water to it and sugar and let it come up before you add it to the uh, dry ingredient. But because I'm using instant yeast, I'm just going to add everything from the start and mix everything together. So yeah, that's, the, 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 that spoon is very tiny guys. It looks big from the, from the camera but it's really tiny. That's why I've added about I think 4 3 spoons of those. So yeah, I'll mix everything together, then all the things that needed to be added. Sorry guys. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just going to add everything. I'm tired. I need to change this voice note, but I won't change it. I'll just go on like that. <laughs> So yeah guys, that's the tiny bit of salt that I'm adding to it and yeah, and I'll get some warm water, not hot water, warm. I know you've watched so many um, how to make uh, Nigerian pop up videos, you know, it's just me showing you how I made mine today and that's warm water. I don't have a nutmeg, so I didn't have any of that, so if some people had cinnamon um i don't like cinnamon so it's either nutmeg or nothing so i didn't have uh, i didn't have cinnamon <clears throat> and i didn't have nutmeg you can if you have it this is all i have in the house so that's what i've just um utilized in making my delicious purple. There's a little, there's a little experiment at the end of this purple. Just keep going, keep watching, guys. You get there and you see what I did. I tried experimenting something. It did turn out nice. But if you want to, if you want to see, just stay glued. So yeah, I'll mix it together and make sure there are no lumps there. Then I'll set this aside to rise for about an hour for about an hour which i yeah i think i set aside for about an hour and yeah guys that's it i think for puff is the easiest thing to make really just mix everything together hard water set aside and start frying that's it <laughs> you know so hope you guys are well hope you guys are fine so i'll set aside and in an hour you see me ready to fry just make sure you keep it in a warm um, in a warm place. You can, if you have, uh, if you use a, a, a smaller container, then you can put it in your microwave. Do not turn it on, guys. As you can see, it's risen. You know, looks fluffier now. And yeah, if it's more, you can. If you leave it for longer. It's a double in size, so yeah, guys. I'm just gonna start frying. I don't have much time to waste on all of this because I want to eat it now. And that's my already hot oil on on the gas. 
it's um i think it's vegetable oil you can use sunflower oil or whatever oil you want i don't know if olive oil does the job so there's no healthy way to eat in puff puff you either deep fry it or you don't do it at all <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna put into it just drop it little by little in balls um some people scoop it out with some spoons but i'm not very comfortable doing that because they just stick to the spoon they don't come out and you have to just struggle so i use my hand just like the original way they do it in niger so yeah guys it's pop off making is just as simple as that very easy very very easy just let it turn golden brown or as, as much brown as you want it to turn and voila popoff is ready to devour so yeah i'm going to fry um and um turn it around frequently so it doesn't get burnt and sometimes you see some just rolling and turning around itself depends so as you can see yeah guys let's keep watching So what's going on where you guys are how are you coping how are you spending your time this this period as we all know what's going on how are you spending your time just drop a comment in the section below guys let's share our experiences what have you gained what have you gained this time if you're indoors if you're not working and if you are working just let us know how you're doing in the comment section below. Let's just talk, guys. Let's talk and share experiences and all of that. So the first set is done. As you can see, it's really quick. Quick and easy. I'm just going to transfer it into the, net, into the um, container there. And I'll continue frying until i'm done frying everything and if you still want to see the twist at the end of the video just stay glued stay glued and you see what i did <laughs> i actually wanted to do what i did from the start of the video but i thought hmm let me not mess this thing up so I decided to wait until I'm almost done frying so you can see the twist. <laughs> you might want to give it a try if you say, but hell, I tried it. It wasn't bad. <laughs> so just keep scooping little by little. Yeah, some people make their make, make their pop of thicker than this, so that's when you can, you know, you can mold it into into balls by squeezing it out of your out of your um, your hand, or is it your palm, or your fist? I don't know, but your your hand anyway, which uh, I don't know how to say that. So yeah. That's when you can squeeze it out of your your hair. But I just cooked it like this. And it's not bad. It's not like round, round, but it's pop off. I like it when it's brown. Like really brown. Some people don't. But as soon as you see it's lightly brown, you can take it out if you want. You don't have to wait until it's this brown like mine because it's, it's it cooks really as long as it's not still like in whitish color just scoop it out 
with that. You enjoy with your cold drink or just enjoy it like that. <laughs> it's been a while I made this. I just thought about it today and I was like, oh, I need to share this with you guys. Um, sorry, that one almost fell. But it's going nowhere. So, yeah. See, peanuts. I thought, let's add peanuts to the butter and see how it turns out. <laughs> and there you have it. I, I did some off camera and that's the one frying now. I added a bit, bit of peanuts to it and I scooped it out, fried it. That's what you see me doing now. I had the remaining one and fried. You know, since I like peanuts and I was like, what can I do with peanuts and pop off together? Do they really go? But it turned out nice. It turned out nice. So that's what I'm doing now. I added a bit of peanut to it. <laughs> you might want to try it, guys. It, it really turned out nice. It was good. You know, you could bite into it and still feel the cr crunchiness of, of the peanuts. It was really good. So thank you for watching guys we're done here and that's my pop-off hope you try it and um, enjoy it that's the one with the peanuts please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment please guys and i'll see you in my next video thank you bye bye